Good morning. Hello. My name is Dave Carroll. I'm coming to you live from my street. This is where I live. And for the last two and a half weeks, I've been inside that house doing the same thing almost every day. I wake up and I think maybe today I can go out and do something. But then they say, no, you're saving lives by being inside. And so I say, okay, <laughs> far be it from me not to want to save lives. And so I stay inside, but I'm going a little bit crazy. I, I, I desperately need a haircut. My wild gray mane is, 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 is drastically expanding. I need to get over to scumbags and cavaliers and, and make myself look, I mean, publicly decent again. But instead I've decided to do something. So uh, I, if, if uh, many of you, uh, well, actually I bet you many of you do not know that um, in the uh, in the uh, the mid 90s, I was a part of boy mid 90s. No, no, yeah, mid 90s. Yeah, I guess mid 90s. I was a part of the Dave Carroll Show on Rogers TV. It was a it was a very low rated uh, Rogers television program called the Dave Carroll Show because I I was the host of it and I thought it was the greatest thing ever. So okay, this is the opening credits of the Dave Carroll Show. Take a listen. Thank you very much. And welcome to the Dave Carroll Show. My name's Dave Carroll. This is my show. How you doing? I'd like to tell you a little about myself uh, before we get going here. First of all, how do you like my suit? Thank you. Came with the meal. Yes, my name's Dave Carroll, and uh, I'm, say, 175 pounds, 5'10", and I have the ear the size of a small platypus. Look at this ear. I guess I know you've all been looking at it ever since the show's been on a whole 30 seconds ago. Yeah, I've, I've had the big year my entire life, but I've taken some pride in the fact that, you know, who else has a big year? Martin Short. Big year. Do you know that, Bob? I knew that. Martin this is Short. Bob Jackson, my sidekick. How are you doing? My trusty sidekick, that is. Yeah, I had a surgery on my ear a few years ago. I figured I might as well get it done while I have the chance. I've had a bad experience with doctors. I've had bad experiences, yeah. While I was in the hospital, going under the general anesthetic, doctors, I don't like it when they start screwing around with you, frankly. I was about to go under. I was counting down. I was counting down. Ten, nine, eight. I was about to fall asleep. Next thing I heard was a doctor saying, Whoa, whoa, not yet. Hold on. I hate it when doctors screw with you like that. That was really a very bad monologue by me. But that was, that's what I thought was funny back at the time. Uh, and now it's just funny in an ironic way. So here's what I'm going to do over the next few weeks, or as many times as I get the opportunity to do this. I'm going to do a mini Dave Carroll show. I'm going to come up with a really bad um, stand-up routine. I'll probably do it in front of my kids and they can groan. But I, I want you to participate. So here's, here's what I want, is that if you can send me to my email address, dkcarroll at gmail.com. I'll put it down at the screen, the bottom of the screen. Send me a video of you doing a bad dad joke or mom joke. Do a bad dad joke, okay? You tell me your, your best dad joke. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you my, my, my favorite one uh, during this uh, COVID-19 season uh, that, I've, that I've come up with, okay? Are you ready? ready for mine? I think the only animal that's gonna go extinct during this time is the social butterfly. <laughs> See, this is really poor. Very, very poor. So I bet you have some bad dad jokes and mom jokes too. 
So take a video clip of yourself and uh, send it to me and I'm going to feature the best dad and mom jokes um, on the next episode of the Dave Carroll Show. Here's the other thing that I really want to be able to do and I'm going to do segments too. I want to do a segment and I'm going to, I'm going to give you a snippet of what it might look like of, of me listening to records. Now I only have like seven but I don't plan on doing that many episodes. So okay here's, here's what a, a, a snippet of me listening to records might look like. That was, that was really, really good. Don Ho, underrated, underrated. Okay, so the other part, and really the reason I want to be able to do this is to um, business owners and people that are running businesses and who are, are in our industries in town are so important and we want to find ways to continue to tell their stories uh, so that, and, and, and let them tell ways that you can continue to support their business so that when we get through this and we will get through this, everything will be in a good place and be, be strong. We want our businesses to thrive and survive. And so if you are a person working in the marketplace or you are a business owner here in uh, Brantford, Brant County, Six Nations, th th this area, go on your telephone, do a selfie, do like one or two minutes, no longer than that. Uh, tell me about your business. Tell me about uh, what it is that you're doing and how you're continuing to be able to uh, generate revenue and keep the economy moving and trying to keep people, keep people moving ahead because we're going to get through this. We got to take it day by day. Please tell me your story and I want to feature at least two or three different business uh, owners and stories about how uh, business can continue to move and how we can support local people and local businesses during this time, okay? It doesn't have to be funny, but if it is, that's great too. But uh, I'm going to use the Dave Carroll Show to be able to do that. So it'll be a mix of really terrible uh, Dave-like humor and um, stories about uh, real people and especially about businesses and about how we can continue to keep the economy going. So I decided to invite my one and only guest on today's show. His name's Mike Alford. He's been a, a longtime buddy of mine and uh, him and his family have been uh, in the financial investment insurance business for as long as I've known them. And uh, so I'm going to do it old school. Welcome, Mike, to the Dave Carroll Show. This is, so I have old school, you know, on the telephone. Have you guys ever heard of the telephone? This is Mike Alford. Mike, hello. Hello. How you doing, Dave? Oh, I'm great. So, kids, uh, there used to be, Mike, do you remember this when you used to have to go and pick up, like, a receiver and dial telephones like a fool? Do you remember that? Yeah, you get finger blisters if, uh, if you dial the wrong number because your finger would get stuck in the dial thing. Yeah, and you wouldn't be friends with anybody with zeros in the phone number, right? Because, uh, no. Yes. No, no. Took no like, yeah, because you got to sit there forever. Yeah, four times the time to actually get a hold of them. Well, Mike is here on the on the cellular telephone, the mobile telephone. Mike, you remember like the old, uh, the first cell phones and the big giant like military boxes? That, that... Yeah, well, we wouldn't be able to have this conversation that long because your ear would get too hot. <laughs> That's right. Did you have one of those in your old Nissan Sentra? No, I don't. But Dad had one of those. Uh, he had the bag phone that was in his uh, in his car. Yeah, I remember that one. <laughs> so, so Mike, uh, Mike's been uh, and his family's been in uh, in the uh, investment and insurance business as long as I've known them. Mike, uh, tell us uh, a little bit about uh, your business and uh, what you guys do. Yes, uh, it's, we are a financial services company. We've been around uh, since about '85. Uh, I I joined up with my father in 2002, and my brother joined up with us in 2007. So. It's a true family practice. Uh, we handle pretty much everything from insurances, uh, your, your personal insurance is not, uh, not your home and auto, but uh, your life and disability and critical illness insurances and investments, planning, 
we help clients with uh, with debt and cash flow management and pretty much uh, any any way we can kind of help you along with your financial careers and, and help you be successful in that, uh, in that end. So, so, yeah. so like part of the reason I'm even doing a Dave Carroll show uh, locked in my den uh, thing is that we're all we all wake up feeling like it's Groundhog Day a little bit, and that we're all you know sort of like <laughs> we're we're trapped a little bit. Uh, but I, I I want people to to remember that it's important to be able to that, that we're going to get through this and to stay the course. And I know that's one of your uh, things that you've been talking about. Like, so how is your business adapting to this time, and how can people uh, you know still support your business and 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 make good financial decisions during this time? Like many different local businesses, are are our neighbors, right? We live around the corner from each other, and uh, you guys are there on uh, Brand Ave. And uh, you know, at Christmas, you guys do one of the most significant, amazing toy drives I've ever seen. And uh, you guys are you guys are awesome. You do a great job, Mike. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, appreciate it. Do you remember when the Dave Carroll show first aired back in uh, back in high school? Dave Carroll impersonator. Yeah. <laughs> what did? <laughs> <laughs> what did you, what did you think when I when I uh, when I made my comedy debut? Well, I won't tell you what I actually thought, but uh, I'm thinking he's got he's got a pretty good uh, Johnny Carson accent, so that was good. I, I enjoyed that one. That was pretty much that was all I had. I know. Well, yeah, I never heard it before, but hey, it was, it was interesting. But yeah, it was, it was it was funny to see your your buddy on TV, and you, you wonder you know what the heck he's doing, but. Uh, <laughs> And, but unfortunately, back then, you, if you wanted to watch it, you had to wait for it to play again. Or if you were lucky enough to tape it on the VCR, then you were fine. Yeah, so you know, or you, you, you rewind it. You had to watch. I have old video uh, VHS tapes of uh, of the TV Guide channel that you'd wait and you'd. I saw my name on the TV Guide channel. You waited ten minutes for everything to scroll. Like, ah, it's my name. Yeah, and you don't you don't want to have a washroom break when it's gonna start. Yeah, you, you just you have to you have to. Have to do it right then and there, otherwise you're gonna mess everything. So it was, it was, it was funny. <laughs> okay, all right. So Mike, uh, I want you. So I'm gonna throw to a segment here. Okay, I'm gonna throw to uh, a a bit of the Dave Carroll show where I uh, I took uh, the eating machine Jim Jardine and Phil uh, the Craftman with Phil to Huckleberry's Family Restaurant to eat a big burger. Do you remember? Do you remember this? Uh, <laughs> no, I don't remember that. Oh, that's that's shocking. That's shocking. Okay. All right. Well, we're, we're gonna throw to that. And uh, hey, listen. Uh, if you could, I wanted to chat with Mike to be able to launch this, but hey, the idea is if you uh, run a family business or you're a, a business owner or you're, you're in the marketplace world inside our, our community, I want to see uh, if you could uh, message me just like one minute videos just to stand up with you going, hey, this is my business, this is how you can keep engaging and to be able to keep uh, business going and life going. If you could email me dkcarol at gmail.com or send it to me on Facebook and uh, we're going to do some of those on however many of these goofy Dave Carroll shows that we do. Mike, thanks for hanging out, buddy. Thank you very much, Dave. And uh, yeah, it's good talking with you. Word to your mother. Word to your mother.
and to yours. <laughs> I invite you to watch a little piece of video. Me and Mike told the producer went out, and we thought we'd have ourselves an old-fashioned burger eating contest. Let's see what happens. Good afternoon, and welcome to the second on-location section of the Dave Carroll Show. I'm Dave Carroll. How the heck are you doing? We're here outside of Huckleberry's Family Restaurant. We at the Dave Carroll Show have heard a lot about the Huckleberry's famous Mississippi Burger. So what we're going to do is we're going to have ourselves an eating contest. And we have two eligible eaters, Jim the Eating Machine Jardine, and, as you all know, Craft Minute with Phil. Phil. You ready, boys? Oh, yeah. Let's get it on! As you can see, the Mississippi Burger is a two-pound hamburger, and you have to eat two plates of french fries on a loaf of Italian bread in 30 minutes. If you eat it in 30 minutes, it's free. If not, you're paying $15.95. I wonder if we have a big Johnny in our midst today. I'm here with two employees of Huckleberry's Family Restaurant, Risa and Debbie. Risa, have you ever seen anyone do this? Yes. <laughs> do you want one word answers? More than one sure, word? Sure, Four people have done it. You've seen four people do this? I've seen three people do this. What do they look like after? One didn't look too well. Debbie, you've got a good look at the two guys who are trying this today. What do you think? Do they have a shot? Oh, I don't know. One might, but I don't think both of them will do it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Good luck. Well, boys, what do you think? Eating machine, Jim Jardine, what's your strategy, pal? Well, Dave, my strategy for today is to go into it, not overconfident. See, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my time and go for the burger, then the fries. But I've gone into trading for about the last eight hours now. Um, I am rip-roaring, ready to go, so let's get to it. Beauty, craft minute with Phil. Phil, what's your strategy? Oh, this is a little different than making a raft, but I'm going to cut it up into a few quarters and just strive and eating it, not to get a little cocky, but I think I can do it. You guys can eat the pickles and the onions? No. I think so. No. Hey, cool, ice! Holy mackerel, look at the size of that burger! This is just like the great outdoors. Ladies and gentlemen, here comes the Mississippi Burger. Ladies? That's the condiment tray. That's a whole meal in itself. One plate of fries. Two plates of fries and the Mississippi Burger! Gentlemen, you folks are in a lot of trouble. You've joined the eating contest just as it's begun. Exciting action so far. Craft Minute with Phil has opted to fold the buns, pound them into a bloody pulp, and then try to eat it. He's eating the burger with a fork and a knife. Wow! Big Jim Jardine has decided to eat the bun first. Bun first! This exciting action has just begun. Stay with us, folks. We've entered minute three, and Big Eating Machine Jim Jardine says he's already starting to feel it. Sir, what do you think of what's going, going on over there? I can't believe my eyes. This is I come here quite often. It's the first time I've seen uh, this occurring, and uh, i got to admit, they uh, they look like they're going to make it. You know what they call this burger here? Oh, the Mississippi Burger. You know how you spell Mississippi? I'm not really uh, intrigued with uh, spelling that right now, but... Uh, M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I... contest at about the 10 minute mark and Phil the craft guy looks like he's on a pretty decent pace actually. Phil's decided to put the burger inside the bun and layer it with fries inside it. A great strategy. While on my right the eating machine Jim Jardine looks to be failing a little. The eating machine seems to be falling a little behind. Hey boys, you know how you spell Mississippi? No, I really don't. Eating machine? I'm my That's fantastic. You know, I, I know a song with the word Mississippi in it. You guys want to hear it? Mm -hmm. yeah. There's an old man called the Mississippi. That's the old man that I'd like to be. we got about ten minutes left in the eating contest, and we have a sh shocking revelation. Jim, are you going to make it? Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm done, man. <laughs> You're going to keep going, though, like the fighter you are, Jim. Mm -hmm. What's on the chair beside you, pal? I saw you... 
I saw it. Get it up here. <laughs> oh. Keep eating, pal. You're going to make it. Wow, on the other hand, on my left hand, Kraft met with Phil, who also has 10 minutes left, seems to be moving along at a rapid pace on his burger. Phil, you're going to make it, pal. You're going to do it. I don't think so. He's going to do it. We're here the last 10 seconds of the eating contest, boys. It doesn't look like either of you are going to make it, but let's see. Five, four, three, two, one. Well, neither of you made it. Jim, eating machine, Jardine, any comments? Oh man, I'm gonna, oh I can't even do that. Oh, I want to hang up my boots, I'm going home. He's going home. Craft guy, any comments, Phil? I don't know, real stuff. I'm cold. Peaceful, I'm taking the doggy bag. Beauty. Well, we gave it a good try here at the Dave Carroll Show today. Eat machine, Jim Jardine, and Craft Middle with Phil. You guys gave it a good shot. Oh, uh, see you later, Dave. I'm going. Yeah, them boys ain't coming back soon. Anyways, I'd like to thank you for joining us here at Huckleberry's Family Restaurant for the Dave Carroll Show. I'm Dave Carroll. Back to you, Dave. Huckleberry's, unfortunately, is no longer there, but, uh, you know, say la vie, but we want to be able to keep our restaurants uh, that are currently here uh, in business. So uh, go and order food from takeout. Um, find ways to be able to engage our local service uh, uh, industries, our, our, our food service industries at this time. It's, uh, it's super important. We want our uh, restaurant industry to be strong uh, at, the, at the time that we come out of this and we will come out of this. So that's it for the Dave Carroll Show for today. Uh, we're going to do uh, more and it, it might even be funny uh, as we go forward. It might even be funny, and like maybe, maybe even actual funny, not just irony funny. Well, wouldn't that be a treat? I'm gonna do a few more of these. So send me your dad jokes or mom jokes to dkcarroll at gmail.com. Send me uh, you telling about your business or your, your job or how we can continue to keep our economy strong. And uh, hey, we're gonna get through this together. All right? Peace out, whore to your mother.